We are back. I know it's been a good minute since I've done one of these videos, but it's 2019 and I feel like this list needs a little updating. So today we are going to be covering the top five sports cars money can buy under $5,000. Whether you're looking for your first car, a car to have fun in, or just a little project build, this list here will have something you like. These won't be your most reliable cars you can get under $5,000. I'll leave those for another video. These are going to be the best sports cars to have fun in, enjoy, and build. Every car on this list will get you some attention from car enthusiasts, so let's get right into it. Mazda RX-8 I know. A lot of you guys were not expecting this Mazda car, but rather it's more popular counterpart, the Mazda Miata. But to be honest, the RX-8 is unique in its own way from all the cars on this list. With its rotary engine and its suicide opening rear doors, never be forcing on a coupe, or can it really be considered a coupe since it technically has four doors? Let me know in the comment section below what you think about that. The four-port standard Renesis was rated at 191 horsepower and was coupled with either a five-speed manual or a four-speed automatic transmission. The six-port high-power Renesis was only available with a six-speed manual transmission and it was packing a whopping 238 horsepower, which is actually the one you want to go for, since in my opinion, manual cars seem more fun to drive. This Mazda doesn't get as much attention as it should, and it's truly an amazing car. Expect to pay around 5,000 for this car. Mustang GT. With a huge debate of whether this is a muscle car no, it's actually a sports car. I just felt like this is a car I couldn't leave out of this list for that reason. Whether you consider this to be a muscle car and not a sports car, you have to admit, this is one definitely worth the money, time, and effort to get looking and running great. With the amount of aftermarket support, this is a nice little daily driver slash build to have as not only your first car, but a nice little project on the side. The stock look is already pretty stylish, so you really don't need to do anything crazy to make it stand out. The car is appreciated by everybody, not only car enthusiasts. Who doesn't like seeing a good Mustang GT run over a crowd of people? This Mustang is still a part of the fourth generation with its killer facelift and aggressive front end. I can't see how anyone can dislike this version. The new edge fourth gen Mustang GT still use the same 4.6 liter V8 engine, but is now packing a whopping 260 horsepower. These are not too hard to come by since a lot of them were sold, but you can pick one up, a GT version that is, between $3,500 and $5,000, depending on the condition. Nissan 300ZX. If you guys follow my personal builds on this channel, you will see that I own a 300ZX. And let me tell you, it's my dream car. I wouldn't change it for anything. This car comes in two versions, a naturally aspirated one and a twin turbo. If you're looking to drive this car as much as possible, I would stay away from the twin turbo version as you will most likely even end up spending nine to $10,000 on top of spending most of your time repairing it. The 300ZX is a stylish car. It always turns heads when I'm on the streets with it. The T-tops are fun, but the heat not so much. Get the 2 plus 0 and not the 2 plus 2. The 2 plus 2 is a little weird looking. It's stretched just to fit those useless rear seats in it. It's not too easy to find in a good decent condition. It took me about 3 months to find the right one for me. And to be honest, it was worth the wait. So if this is one that you're really considering, I definitely would take my time to find the perfect one before you go out and buy just any one for around $2,000. Because there is really a lot available between two to three, but they're mostly in terrible condition. Expect to pay high-end three and $4,000 for this car to be in decent condition. But if you're open to doing a little bit of extra work on it, yes, a beat up one for 2,000 seems like a steal. And besides, you're kind of getting a Lambo when you really look at it because that's how this car kind of looks. Lexus SC300 or SC400. Whether it's the SC300 or the SC400, 
They are really both the same interior and exterior wise. The only real difference between the two is the engine. The SC has a 3 liter 2JZ and the SC400 has a 4 liter 1UZ. Of course, the 2JZ version is the most popular one and the one that a lot of people like to go for. It is pretty rare to find under $5,000, but it is possible. But for this one, you're more looking towards getting the SC400 under five grand rather than the 2JZ version. And to be honest, you really can't go wrong with either. Patience is key on this one if you really want the 2JZ version, but the SC400 is just as good if not better, because the SC400 is packing quite a bit more power than the 2JZ. The 2JZ one comes in at 225 horsepower, as for the SC400 is packing you 290 horsepower. Yes, the 2JZ has an endless possibility of modifications and upgrades to the engine, but if you just want a first starter car and something easy to build, the SE400 is just something you can't go wrong with. Both engines are pretty solid, and people call this the broke man Supra. So if you're looking to stand out, this is definitely a car you can't go wrong with. Nissan 350Z Yes, this is also a build on our channel. My brother picked up his 350Z with 90,000 miles for just $5,000 a year ago. And yes, that is still considered a good ass deal to this day. As you will most likely find these cars with around 140,000 plus and will be expecting to pay anywhere between four dollars to $5,000 for this car. The Z and its luxurious twin sister, the G35, are very popular first cars among car enthusiasts. The modification possibilities are endless. There is a wide variety of aftermarket parts for this car, although all you will really need is a good set of wheels, tires, along with some coilovers or lowering springs, and just a little bit of a straight pipe to make this car just that much more enjoyable. The body is already wider than most, so aggressive wheel fitment makes this car stand out. The car is real wheel drive, so swinging it around corners will be fun. If you want to learn how to drift, they say this is a good car to start with. The 350Z has one of the best transmissions, so if you're looking to learn stick, this is also a good car to learn in. All in all, you can't go wrong with this Z, as it's also pretty reliable stock. The whole Z lineup is just filled with cars you can't hate. If you're interested in seeing more of a build for the 350Z, check out the other videos on our channel. But that's gonna be it for this video. I know most of these cars were in the higher end of the 5,000s, but all of these cars can be picked up between three to $5,000. If you guys are looking for a much cheaper list, leave it in the comment section below and I'll try to get together a list of cars that you can pick up under 2,500. Drop this video a like, Comment down below what car off this list you would like or if there is a car that I did not feature on this list that is under $5,000 that is something people should consider. But subscribe for more videos, help us reach 35,000 subscribers and remember there are no limits to what you can accomplish except the limits placed on your own thinking. Deuces. Uh, yeah, man, the world needs better laws. Maybe then we'll be better off. I'm hoping that it comes, but it never does. Just got new grills and they all go. So I got that beef with the po po. They don't like my style, no, no, no. I don't really give a damn. I keep steering, switch gears, and the fans just.